In this video, I tried to blow someone up with a dookie, but instead, we blow everyone up with a nookie. Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. I'm back, I'm very glad that I am, and today, we're going to try and drop a toilet seat on top of a tank. Now, there's a few difficulties with this, uh, I'll show you this example here. Wow, great. And the reason for this is it has the equivalent of 1.1 kilograms of TNT, which is not very good. On top of this, sometimes when you drop it, it just disappears. However, where this bomb is useless, the A1H comes with some of the best unguided rockets that are in the game. These are the Zunis. Almost 9 kilograms of explosive mass, a heat warhead, and a huge explosion with 550 millimeters of penetration. These things are absolutely wonderful. The fact that these are normally attached to helicopters and jets and instead are now attached to a 6.3 aircraft that's available through the battle pass. One of my favourite airframes by the way. This thing is an absolute delight to play and I thought it'd be a really cool thing to come back to War Thunder after not playing for about three weeks. Now even though I'm a little bit rusty because I haven't played for a while, I did fantastically well, well enough in this thing to be honest. Had some great games in this and of course for the finale managed to drop a nook. The first time in ages. <laughs> Let's get into battle with this guy and one of my favourite tanks in the game, the Walker Bulldog. Let's get into battle. Okay, dude, let's do this. We're against Germany and Britain. And I think really only Germany has open tops. So let's see how we do here. Kebab Overlord is just jade out of his Churchill Crocodile. Which I think is like 4-7, right? Why do you bring it to 6-7? Accident, maybe. We all make mistakes. Me especially. I don't want to be on the sea cab. That'll be a complete disaster. Okay, this game's opened up now. I am really likely to run into Tiger 2H, among other things. We're gonna touch the cab and back off to make everyone face the cap zone and then we're gonna go around this way. Nothing's appeared here yet. A comet just died on sea. And is this guy looking for my teammate that's on the cap or is he coming round? It's a tiger. I want a clear shot when that tree moves, so. Okay, good. Is there another one coming round here? I hear one. It's a panther with a... He's kind of angled enough that he'll be a problem, so I'm just going to back off. I'm expecting someone to arrive up there, but no one's been there yet. Oh my god, I mean deafened. I can still hear this panther. He's not pushing though. Right, if that M18 goes up there, that gives me pretty much free reign to drive around here. I'm actually surprised I can hear this panther is clear. There's one up there as well, look. Oh, I think his... Uh oh. His friend is coming. Okay. Luckily, I could see a bit that had ammo in it for the one shot. Otherwise, we're in a lot of danger. Can I get up here to spot this Pantherino? Oh, he's backed off quite a bit. We should have our plane anyway. But there's no reason not to play for more kills than the Bulldog, is there? That's a tiger down here. Not falling for it, then. Wait, we're in a slight stalemate here with Mr. Tigor.
I don't know if he's trying to decide if I can see him or not. Mistakes were made. Am I getting pushed by something else other than that panther? Oh, the, the other panther's back, but I think I can see him through this crack. Driver gunner loader is a spectacular hit on him. And it's going to give us a nice clean kill. Panther D. And my IS-2 just got killed by a panther down this way. Another one. My dog's barking. I missed that scout because my middle mouse button is doing weird things. Should get this guy too, but I don't know where that other panther's gone. Awesome. This game might end abruptly because of the way tickets work on it. So I might actually have to bring my plane out shortly. What is this panther? God, I'm getting so deafened, dude. Oh, crap. I need to wait till the explosion stop happening because it was rocking my tank backwards and forwards. We're dead. <laughs> the the artillery was bouncing my cannon up and down and then I hit my really bad shot. Um, we need to bomb activation one second. We've got flares and plenty of zoonies. Let's do this. First time in a plane in like three weeks and I'm being spawn cammed. Okay, he's gone for the la nine and not me. What is that, a tar? Okay, uh, damage this cooling system, which is great. This thing is an absolute whale with these zoonies on. The last should get him now, he's... He's in our territory. Okay, thank you, dude. I'm trying to get out of your way so I don't bump into you. That was a cool noise. Explosions. Right, these zoonies, from memory, are... Nuts with accuracy, right? But on a prop, hey, that's not good. Yeah, they they are good. They are very good. Okay, Warbo one shooting at me. Right, I gotta I gotta deal with the SPAA at range with the zunnies. or we're in deep trouble. I don't know where that Warbo is, but yeah, okay, he's making the mistake of revealing his position to me. But there's an M18 nearby him, I guess. Should be able to longball this guy quite easily, especially if he's on the side of a hill. But uh, those 20 mils have got some legs, dude. Shooting too low right now. Those ones. The second lot are good. Oh, didn't kill him. Gotta make sure he's dead. And I missed him. He's actually on the down slope rather than the up slope so it's making it awkward so I've got 20 rockets left my, my lads playing quite passively it's because he's trying to deal with this Oswind and the Oswind's on a down slope as well Ugh. this makes things pretty difficult to be honest Oswind's dead which lets me deal with the people on this side but look at the ticket bleed Yeah, guys, I'm trying his very best to get me. Are you dead? No. What is this, a Churchill? Good lord. Yes, dude. <laughs> yeah, I, I like Zinnies, dude. They're normally on Jess, right? This is the first prop, I think, in the game that has them. I want a long ball this. Wirble. No, no toilet kill, I don't think, for this one, but we'll try. Okay, that guy's dead. So, maybe I'll get this toilet bomb on this panther. There's a kugel blitz here, though. Toilet's out, and I hit a tree, right? Oh, I hit him, but it didn't do anything. I think it skipped on him or something. It's shit now, another line. And that's game. Well, at least I hit something with a toilet bomb, but it definitely needs to be open top. Where's our, where's our man in the bushes? Ok, 
Okay, I got it. <laughs> GG. Alright, dude, let's do some cathartic sniping. Let's go. Be against Germany again? Yeah, and Russia. 6 7 again. Great. We're looking behind us as we go up here. That area there specifically, right? I think we're in the clear though. Yeah, we're, we're good for now. We are up. Don't see any enemies on the other cliff yet. That's a tiger. Nice. With an M18 up there as well. Nothing's pressed on to see yet. I don't like shooting the first thing I see at normally because it scares people from coming out further, you know? There's a KV-220 somewhere, I'd like to deal with that, but... I don't know where he is. And my teammates have got that area kind of locked down well. I don't know if Ycat's in trouble. It's another tiger. Two. That didn't work on that sc Well, I guess... I don't know what this guy's doing, his machine gunner, but does he know where I am? Not really. I want a mobility hit on him. Horizontal drive is nice, but he's well parked here. Now he can't shoot at me, right? We escaped a certain death there for sure. Oh, there's two of them. But I got the other tiger. Which means there's a tiger 2P still there? Yeah, it's the one that killed me. Oh, there's a few there. Right, let's go. Rocket time. That's fairly successful. I just didn't see the other Tiger 2P. I love the Bearcat, dude. I think he's a really cool plane. Look at that guy. It's like a slightly shortened version of this, right? He looks so purposeful. Our team is definitely winning this. It's going to be very difficult to find something open top. I gotta save the Dookie for a little while. Because uh, I need to get it quite precise. And I'm scared about getting close to the ground in case of pancake. Which has happened, you know. Not a, not a great pilot, but I'm trying my best. That landed nowhere near him, but still killed him. And no doubt that will spawn... Oh, there's an SU-100P down there. Oh, he's a prime candidate for Dookie, but... I'm gonna give him that instead. We'll, we'll find something else. A whirlwind or an OS blitz or something, you know. Let's try and get this Tiger. No enemy plane yet. SPA-wise looking kind of dry too. Never mind. Wurble has entered the chat, right? It's looking good, actually. Is that another one? There are two, actually. Ooh, scary, scary, scary. I'm sure I heard a plane. Yes, I did. He's on our Bearcat, though. I'm coming, dude. I'll try my very best. He's a yak. Okay, 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 okay. We got another lifeline for now. And I think this other Wurble Blitz is shooting at me. I'm not quite sure. With 12 rockets left, there's just plenty. He's dead. He actually got artilleries. Right, you. Never mind. I can't tell if that's an SPA shooting or if it's just a teammate with 50 cows. Scanning for more aircraft, but I'm not seeing anything. The other guy kind of crept up on us, right? Giving this thing zoonies is insane. I was a bit worried with it being 6-3, but it makes sense with this sort of armament, right? We've got two panthers here. That's bad rockets, but it's fine. So are those. Should have aimed off my left wing. We've still got eight rockets left and the dookie. And there's another enemy plane crept up on us. P-47. No, it's a Tempest. That's not great. 
That is not great at all, especially carrying all this suspended weaponry. I want to keep my flaps open anyway. Right. Normally we would turn very good at this speed, but because we've got these, I mean, these pods must be really heavy. I think we got them here, unless I miss. He did the right thing and turned away. He knows he's faster. Got a hit on him? Tell me that's friendly. Yes, it is. I've got plenty of ammo to snipe this guy. Okay, good. He got a little bit complacent there, and I see the possibility of an open top down there. He's just got bombed, so he might be tracked. No, it's a T-34, actually. So, the dookie won't work on him. Okay, he's he's gone. There's only two left. On this side? Negatory. That was a very good cast run, though. I should have saved it for the SU-100, but... Zuni rockets did. Zuni rockets. Okay, we're Berlin, and it's quite clearly a full up to you, so let's do this. It's gonna be less open tops. Not ideal. Probably a lot of rocket kills, though. See, we could probably toilet bomb him. I'm gonna do this stupid thing. Oh, the BTR's doing the same thing as me. We got a scout. <laughs> he can swim and I can't, so I'm gonna go this way. I scouted a tank destroyer? Oh. Please. Okay, we're good. Actually made it up better than he did. Oh, there's a guy playing peekaboo up there. Well, uh, I'm kind of scared to move forward. We'll be okay. We just have to believe. That was a king tiger. <gasps> he can see me. This is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Okay, we're good. Don't shoot the BTR. Son of a bitch. Okay, I killed his commander through his cupola. There's somebody out there as well. And somebody here? Somebody there I can't see. There's an RU on the cab. I'm, I'm scared. I really want to scout this tiger. Right, now I've spotted where that guy is. I can see his bush. Right, we're good. Wait, what's fire in here? Is it an RU? I think there's enemies really close to me, like on this side as well. That thing's actually making tiger noises. Is it a tiger? Maybe a 105? You got here super fast. It's coming out. There's a 105. I forgot they don't have easily detonatable ammo there either. Take his breach so we can deal with him in our time. And uh, Tiger 2 back there is now no longer scouted. And can see me third person. This guy? Okay, I think we're okay here. Okay, rescouted him. No! My scout! Okay, he kind of breaches out on the guy I missed the scout on. I'm having to play this really like. Conservatively. Okay, he's just been shot. Another one.
Where is this guy? I think I can hit him too. If he keeps going that way, right? But he might be invisible. No, he's not going to be. It's another tiger too. And I hit too low. I wish I was good at this game, dude. Tiger too staring at me. He shot. And I hit too low. Oh, he's, he's hiding behind a wooden fence. Ah, oh, he's rotating his turret at the time. I hit too high that time. Okay, good. I'm actually going to move from here. Thank you, teammate. Right, can we get this cut? I just want to decap it so we can at least get some tickets back. DD5. Oh my god, this frame rate is insane, dude. It makes it so easy to do things. You change direction. Okay, you got him scouted now. I'm getting arted pretty hard. I think I saw another plane indicator. Yeah, there's two. Is that a jet as well? Yeah, it's a jet. Okay, we got the cap so we can kind of move on a little bit. Good that these jets turning up. Especially if it's a narwhal. Here he is. Okay. We scared them off. And that will do for now. I think it's a weasel over there. Or a marder. Okay, he dropped his bombs though. I think we're okay. Okay, I actually have him with the main gun, so... That's a panther. Good. It's been pretty fun so far, and that is a murder. Something is on C, but... Aha. Uh -huh. I've seen the smoke out of his exhaust. No! I didn't realise that guy was still alive. Right, so we got a jet up. And a murder, which is not bode well for me. We did get quite a lot of uh, spawn points as well, though. The 262 is still alive. He's just shot down an A1H, but I can see him. The only thing I can do is get speed by diving. And he'll probably outturn me when I've got these Zuni pods on, so that is a bit of a concern. And here comes another plane, another jet. Jet numero 2. I believe I can hit this murder though. From quite far back. We're getting A, that's awesome. There's a stim tire down there as well. I want rid of this. Warble wind. Okay, he's definitely dead. And that's our bulldog that killed me. I can hear the jet, I just don't know where he's approaching from. Okay, I hit the tire, but no notable damage, unfortunately. And this bulldog keeps shooting my engine over and over. Okay, I got something crit on this guy. Oh, we're shooting far too high. He's probably dropped his entire payload by now, so... He's kind of harmless to my teammates. My engine is burning up terribly bad after that bulldog. So that worries me a wee bit. Stim Tiger just fired again. There's a Ferdinand here. Perfect. 
awesome. And an SU-122. We're doing all this with a really damaged engine. Enemies back on sea. I don't have the approach to deal with it, do I? I don't think so. And I really want to get this bulldog. Something is having a go at me. Good. And we're going to fly away. Okay, I'm missing an elevator, but we're all right. We'll give him some up and down action. We're going to go land. We'll drop our toilet. <laughs> Things spinning about. My F4 is on him. I'd much rather come back and have another attempt. Plenty of enemies left. There goes the 109E. Right, air break. We can barely land this because the pilot is really high up in this fuselage. And I'm already seriously damaged, so it's not going to make any difference to our repair time. And this will be very gentle. There we go. Right, we're good. Let's get back up in the air and see if we can get this nuke, right? That'd be pretty cool. We just lost four teammates in a row. So it's still quite solid team-wise. Right, the 262 is coming back in. Ma okay, the Oswin 2 is dead. But for some reason he jade out. Is that? F4U's left the chat long ago. What is this guy doing? Is he waiting on me specifically? I fancy my chances in a head-on? Yeah, he knows. He's got a little bit of battle sense, so... Or does he know? I'm quite low down, so... Okay. Damaged him. My teammates also... Hit this 262. I think we're gonna win by default here. Yag Panther. Okay, solid hit. JPZ45, and there's another jet coming in. Oh, we are dead, surely here. It's a. a rattle with cannons. I'm okay for now. Just not flying terribly good. Ouch. Okay, Stim Tiger, it was a colossal explosion. Something is on A now. They're most certainly going to die here. Actually, really struggling to keep altitude. He's on me now, the boss wind. <laughs> GG dudes, oh my god. I think I can respawn in the Bulldog again. I mean, I can try. We did get the nuke, but there's a jet up, and that's a problem. I'll, I'll give it a go, right? We'll see how we go on. The Arado with the four 20 mils on it is a real problem. And of course, we got an Oswin there as well, right? There's two Arados. I don't know if that jet's dead. The 262? He might be. Somebody's coming towards me, which is not great. Here he comes. Oh, it's a it's a salamander. Another A1H. What's the Sally doing? Is he going to swing around or what? No, no. It seems like he's escorting me. To be honest, it's almost what it feels like. Using mini guns. My teammate's trying to help. Oh, my tail is off, kind of. But we're good. We're kind of good. Okay, come on, let me activate. Drop the bomb. Drop the bomb. I dropped it. I think. Yes, it's gone, dude. We did it. <laughs> yes. I still know how to play War Thunder. Let's go, dude. <laughs> Oh dear! Yes! From 
the clutches of defeated. Let's go. Let's get a little screenshot of that. Welcome back to War Thunder, Odd Buzz. Welcome back to War Thunder. There we go. Almost 100,000 silver lions. And there's the little badge there, Dimsday. G did. So flying this thing and obviously getting a nuke was a really good fun way to come back to War Thunder. I think we're going to try and do the toilet bomb again. I might actually call up my buddy Steve. You guys all know him as Fly Daily. And then maybe both of us will try and do it for one video. Squad up for a little bit. What do you guys think of that? Should we do that? Oh, and by the way, if you guys want a semi-review of this thing, it is bleeding awesome. I didn't even take the amount of zoonies it can carry. I think it can carry five pods. It's miniguns and stuff. It's level 75 in the battle pass though, so it's quite difficult to get, I would presume. Uh, but it's well worth it. It's a attacker that's basically not as good as an A2D1, obviously, but it's a 6.3. The AD2 is almost as good, but the fact this thing gets zoonies and a toilet bomb just makes it that much better. Pretty cool plane. Shame it is paywalled. Anyway, that's how War Thunder goes nowadays with $70 or £70 premiums. That's pretty cool. But that's it for me today. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to give the video a like. I'm going to need all the help I can get to get back on the algorithm for YouTube. So if you wouldn't mind doing that, leaving a wee comment of what you'd like to see next on the channel. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'll be back again tomorrow, back in full swing. New PC, everything's running smooth. It's going to be a good time ahead reading up to Christmas. I would like to give a special thanks to everyone who's supported me over on Discord, Patreon and the remaining Twitch people who are subscribed to me over there. Thank you guys very much. You guys have kept me going this past month just because I've not been making any income because no YouTube videos obviously with no PC. So a huge thank you to everyone. Uh, as always, all the tier 3s who get a shout out over on Discord first, that's Toast McGee, Sexy, Irish Wristwatch, that's Sunfish trying to troll me by the way, that's the one that made me say Purple Burglar Alarm, thank you very much. White Wolf, Icarus, Audible Bow, Bofe, Destari, Fearless, Germ Frost, Jamie, Marushin, Miss Lita, Mr. Tiger, Rusty, Stoyan, Toggle and Zig. And to the tier 3s on Patreon, that's Understorm1, Brandon aka The Flying Pickle, David, Ethan, Excavation Nation, FTN, Watermelon, Handsome Tortilla, J. Tommy, Kin the Salt Lord, Coil Metany, Mortan, and Pyrophoric, Ralph, Rides, Shaff, Shane McGuire, Shmoo, Sickness Wind, Stoyan, Tectonic, Tanks Gone Wild, The One and Only, Rosalini, Vanian, uh, Violet, Nebulae? Oh, I think you've changed your name, hello. Uh, and Warpig, thank you guys very, very much. I get thrown off when there's like lack of rhythm. There's so many of you guys as well. I really, really appreciate you. Uh, and to everyone else who's still here, thank you very much for watching. Much love. And bye-bye. You bet TDI dumbbag.